Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today I'm going to show you the chicken legs. Okay, we had quite a few questions about them um, after yesterday's video. And so today I'm going to show you what I do with the different parts of the chicken legs. Um, first, I have just a mesh strainer because most of it really doesn't bother me. So did you see that golden, golden, golden? Let me, let me bring you closer here. You see all that beautiful gold that's there? That is from the fat, um, and that's, you know, really good for you. Fat is where the flavor is. Um, if you want to strain that off perfectly, normal and acceptable, and this is not the way to do it, um, but I'm straining out, you see that dot in there? Um, I'm straining out any larger bits or pieces, but then if you want to get the fat off of this, you would put this bowl into the refrigerator and let it solidify and then you can just pull it right out and what you've got left is some amazing delicious bone broth so that's number one number two is to pull the chicken out okay so this is the one remember i put four in there grabbed it top heavy look at that whoop but that's how easily <laughs> the, the legs can fall apart the bones can fall apart okay there we go so this is fully cooked chicken leg, okay? And this is so good to use for, you know, a soup, a stew, a pot pie, anything like that. If you like the dark meat for your chicken salad, then this, this is the thing for you, okay? So let me make that there. I'm going to pour the last of the liquid into my strainer, into my bowl, and then when I bring it out, all that large clumpy stuff will be there had a lot of questions about how to deal with it at this point so that's what we're going to hit next okay it's your food plan on getting in there and making a little bit of a mess but look at how oh just it just comes right off it just comes right off the bone period so at this point if you didn't take the skin off you can do it now or you can just leave it be okay and it just whoosh comes right off poof the cartilage right here, you know, I'll throw it into the strainer and I'll get rid of that. And then honestly, I don't want the skin, so I will end up putting that over into the strainer also. So just like that, you have chicken. I mean, this is so tender. Look at, I'm just, I'm just cutting it up with a fork. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to do the bone. Now we have our little chicken leg, okay? And we had a lot of different, I mean, look at how that just snaps apart. You've got that part up there. Um, and you can just, I mean, that's, that's how easy it is. I'm just smushing it with my fingers, okay? Now that's got the marrow and everything inside of it that we pretty much depleted, but not completely. So I will just take this. You can, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can just do it like this. It will, no harm, no foul to most larger breed dogs, I would say. Um, but personally, for me, I want it ground up even finer, okay? So I would take this and let it dry. I would put it in my dehydrator and let it dry. And then I can grind it even more into a powder. You can use your blender. You can use your food processor. Probably the blender might work a little bit better. Um, coffee grinder, you know, but because once it's dry, which right now it's not, it just came out of the jar. Once it's dry, can you, can you see that? Once it's dry, um, it will just crumble right apart. I mean, look how, look how thin that is. It's just barely more than a fingernail. Okay. And this is the good stuff for the puppies and as I was so nicely reminded for your garden you can also just do this and put it in your garden so I'm gonna get in there I'm gonna take off the skin and I am going to take off the meat and I'm gonna grind these all down and it's gonna be fantabulous see there's some more of that I don't necessarily want that in my chicken salad right cuz it's ugly I know but you know it is what it is so then we'll just wash, rinse, repeat with the rest of the bones. And in the meantime, we have some fantabulous dark meat chicken for our 
chicken salad or our soup or our pot pie or whatever the case may be. Now, I am going to end up making just a small batch of chicken salad with this because I think it will be fantabulous. See, if you de-skin it ahead of time, you save some of that trouble. But super simple. And you know the nice part? I don't know about you guys. Am I the only one? I, I'm always worried that I didn't get the chicken cooked enough, you know? And with this, I know this chicken is cooked enough. I know that it's done. See, we've got this more of that stuff. So I have no concerns about doing whatever I want to with it. So here we are with the final result of one product, three results, what you get out of it, okay, depending on how you decide to do it. So we have the broth that I am going to strain and then put in the fridge and skim all the fat off. I've got the chicken. I'm going to make a small batch of chicken salad. I've got the bones that I'm going to dry and grind up and give to the animals. It's a win-win for the entire household. I can tell you that my cat is going crazy right now, going, I want some too. So, yeah, we might share a little bit with the cat also. But it's all good. It's fantastic. I hope this helped you with any of your questions. Until next time, be safe.